All right, we already have our drawing set up. Now we're gonna add overlapping buildings with an alley. So an alleyway. So I'm going to create a building. Making sure it's parallel with the side of my, build, my uh, paper. The top should be parallel to my horizon line. Now I'm going to line up to my vanishing point. These are my vanishing lines. So each corner of the building should line up. I already have this lined up through the sidewalk, so that one's perfectly fine. Now I need to decide where I want uh, my building to end. If having these short lines confuses you, feel free to draw your lines all the way back like this. We've been doing this for a little while, so if it's easier for you, you don't have to draw it all the way back. Just remember to always match it up to your vanishing point. All right, now I'm going to decide where I want my building to end. I'm going to say about here making sure it's parallel to the other side of the building. Then where these two meet, I'm going to draw a line straight across that's horizontal. Do not just draw a line and connect them. Make sure it is completely horizontal and parallel to our horizon line. So it should be the same distance on both sides. Draw a line, and there we are. We have our first building. We can erase our vanishing lines we do not need. Careful not to erase this corner because we need it. Now we're going to add our second building overlapping this one, or going behind this one. So this building will be overlapping the back building. And we're going to make sure to add an alleyway. So the best way to do that is to draw the corner of our building. I'm going to give us a big alleyway. You can decide how big of an alleyway you would like to create. I'm going to draw a line. And essentially what I'm doing, just like we did here, I'm creating a rectangle. But it's going to be behind this one. So draw a second line, which will be essentially this side, but back here. Making sure it's parallel to all my other lines. Draw a line. I don't need to draw it through this building because it's going to be hidden. Give myself a top to my building, making sure it's parallel to the horizon line. Parallel, same on both sides, or as close as we possibly can get. So now I have a rectangle, just like I did here, right? But I need to give myself a bottom. So, I'm going to line this up, making sure it's parallel. Parallel to here, and parallel to the sidewalk. These should all be parallel lines. And draw a line, right there. Now I need to match up these two corners back to my vanishing point. Remember, if it helps you, you can draw your lines all the way back. Like this. Or, Since you know you don't want your building going all the way back, you can draw it short. So I'm going to make this a skinnier building. Making sure it's parallel to both sides. Draw a line. Where these two meet, I need to draw straight across. I'm not going to just connect them. So I'm going to draw a line, making sure it's parallel on both sides. Draw a line across. And now I have two buildings that overlap and an alleyway. So I know I can have an imaginary car if I wanted to drive in and go down this alleyway. 
To make this look more realistic, I'm going to shade in the street or the, the spot between the buildings nice and dark. And then I'm going to shade this side nice and light. If I know the sun is over here and it's shining down this way, it's going to hit the back side of these buildings and the front. It's not going to hit these sides. So that's why we're shading it in. To make it look a little more realistic. And there we go. We have two buildings that overlap with an alleyway in between.